thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie. If you are new here today, I have Eli with me and we are going to be making cakes or a cake. And I said in one of my other videos that possibly I could do like a easy cake thing that we do in our house. So I don't do anything special. Okay, so the cake mixes that I use sometimes ask for different eggs and we were using our chicken eggs and it would turn the cake mix yellow. And some of our cakes, we wanted it to be um, as white as possible, unless you want them to do, you know, different colors or whatever. And we did a rainbow one. So we still did the white cake mix. And then I just put uh, food coloring and stuff in there. If you guys want me to do a rainbow one next time, I can do a rainbow one. We can show you how to do it. But for today's video, we are going to be making, let's see, the two, I think I have, um, it's either eight inch rounds or two nine inch rounds. I've never really measured what pans I was using. I have four of them. The reason why I make four is even if I need uh, three layers, I still put one away in the freezer and I end up just freezing it and using it another time when I need to make another cake. So you can do two layers if you would like and that's just one cake box. For this video, I'm gonna show you how to do an easy way of doing four layers of cake and then I will go over all the stuff that I use for decorating it and the tools and stuff that I have learned to use and then I'm not quite sure of what design and stuff I'm going to be like making with this cake yet, but I just wanna show you the basics of what we do. So it's just um, making the cake box for right now, and then I'll show you what I do when I put them in my pans. So he's just gonna add the two bags of cake mix. Usually it's either Eli or Gage that help me with make the cake part of it and then I do all like the decorating and stuff. And then he's just gonna add the water. If you guys have made any cake boxes before, it's pretty much the same thing except for with this one we're using the egg whites instead of regular eggs, but this one asks for uh, egg whites anyways. So it, it, he's going to be putting in, um, what is the measurement? So it's on the back of the egg white container. It'll tell you what your measurement will be, whatever your box asks for. So we're going to be doing um, two, three, fours for these two boxes. Do you know how to make this by heart? We make cakes all the time now because of birthdays and stuff. And my and my family prefers uh, cake boxes anyways. All right. Oh, you just did one. And you, Eli usually does, you do it on low first, right? So it doesn't fly all over the place. Okay, you probably go faster. And then we stop it in between and then we just wipe down the sides because sometimes on the bottom it doesn't always um, pick up into when he's mixing it. So it just kind of settles on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, you can see clumps and stuff still in there. Okay, with my cake, Pans. I usually use the Bake Easy Non-Stick Spray. Uh, you can use the other one that has like the oil and powder mixed. Uh, I think you can just order that anywhere. 
um, but, or just get it at Walmart and stuff. I just did a pickup order and I was able to get this on there. So that is what I spray my cans, my pans with. So I just go around, make sure I get all the sides and stuff. So what I do is I try to divide them evenly between them all. If you want to measure them ahead of time by um, putting them in like a measuring cup to make sure that they're equal, I'm not really worried about that. I just try to like eyeball it to see uh, what, you know, what's going to look right. And then if I need to take out of one, then I will take out of one. Okay, so the trick to having flat cakes when you cook them are using these little cake belts. I just learned about them recently. Um, have you ever made a cake before and you notice that the middle is higher up than your cake is? That's because um, the outside, I think it goes, your outside cooks faster than your inside um, of the cake. So with these cake belts, I have them wet, so I just put them underneath the sink and got them wet. They're cold. And um, this helps cook the, the cakes a little easier. So I'm just going to wrap these around. And it has like a little, um, if you can tell right here, it has a little thing that you can pull it tight with. And I think you can get all different colors also. Um, you can tell that some of them are a little bit more used than others. I've been using them quite a bit with everybody having birthdays lately. So all I do is put these around all of the cakes. And if your um, oven can't handle all four in at the same time, then you can do one box at a time so that you're able to get as many cakes done as you need. Now I tried using the cake belt on a square one. I just ended up having to um, connect two of them together to be able to fit all the way around. So you can do that also if that works. I already have my oven set to 350. I'm going to cook these for 25 to 27 minutes. All right, and that's all you need to do. Okay, one of the things that you want to watch for when you do your cakes, don't overcook them. Otherwise, you get that brown like film on top or a brown like overcooked look. And you don't want to have that. Otherwise, you have to cut that part off. Um, but you want them to stay white like this. So I have about two more minutes and then I'm going to check it and see if they're finished. It's done. So I just want to check to see if these are done. And that one looks pretty good. And that one looks pretty good. And then let's check the bottom ones quick. All right, so they are finished. I'm going to put them on the stove here and we are going to let them cool for the right part of the day. And then once they are cooled, I will show you what I do next. Okay, so what I usually do is just go around the whole entire cake area just so that it comes out of the pan easier.
I let my cakes in the freezer. That's one of the easier ways to frost your cakes is to just put them in the freezer after they are done um, cooling part of the day. And now it is the next day and I'm going to be frosting them. Here are the frostings that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the whipped cream from the deli area of Walmart. I have a darker blue color, I have white, and then I also have a lighter blue color. I'm going to be mixing one of the blues with the white to make another shade of blue. Um, but the first step that you are going to want to do is put a little bit of frosting right underneath your cake so that it doesn't move around when you frost it. Just a little bit on your tray so that your cake doesn't move around. Just call ahead of time and ask for buttercream or uh, whipped cream. And the whipped cream comes like this and the buttercream comes in a dish. So all you're gonna wanna do is just go around And then you're gonna have your frosting on top in between your layers. And I'm just gonna go with white. And you can ask for any color you would like at Walmart. When I call ahead, I just ask them if, to see what ones that they have available. And I put the next layer on. And I do the same, same thing. So all you're gonna do is just squeeze We're just gonna add a smooth layer of blue all the way around. I'm just gonna take my little spatula here and just go all the way around with it. Sometimes when you want to um, have a couple of smooth layers, I would probably put this in the freezer and then uh, let it cool for about 10 minutes, take it back out, and I would frost it again to make sure I can get another smooth layer on. But we're gonna be adding flowers on this today so that I'm not gonna do that this time. But if I do another cake um, video, I will show you how to do that next. Because I'm going to be doing a lighter color of flowers on top, I'm going to use the white for on top and just keep the blue for the side. So I'm going to take my smoother and I'm just going to go around with it and try to make it as smooth as I can. One of the other tricks to doing this is when it gets built up like this, you just another bowl off to the side, swipe it across. Otherwise, you can heat up your smoothing tool if you're gonna be using buttercream. Um, that just helps smooth it out a little bit more. Because I need to make another, for another shade of blue, I'm just gonna squeeze some of this in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of white. So I need another color, another shade of blue. So I'm gonna take this one. The 
the tip that you need looks like this. It is the 1M from the Wilton piping tip. So one mil. I take my bag and just cut off the tip of this bag. And put it in like that. Then I take this bag and put this one in like this. Now if I had uh, one of them tips that were to screw on what they have already in here, you can do that also as long as you have this tip that creates this flower that we're going to be making. So I'm just going to squeeze until it comes down to the tip. my cake back over here and we're gonna start with a dark blue down here and I'm gonna try to do this backwards here so what you're gonna want to do is you start up a little bit from the bottom area and you start right here you're gonna start right here and you're gonna go up and around you just want to be able to have enough room down here for the flower to go around so we're gonna start right here we're gonna go up and around just like that. So that's what that looks like. And go up, around, and just like that. So and go right here up, around, and there. So I'm going to go around really quick and get the bottom row done. that was easy enough for you guys to follow I will leave everything in the description of this video for all the tools and um, big belts and everything that I used on today's video if you guys have any questions on how I did the flower and stuff like that leave it in the comments down below and I will try to help you out um, it's basically just practicing and piping and that's pretty much it so hopefully you guys like today's video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.